In this video, we will continue with implicit differentiation. You will find this on page 498 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 s. Let's look at another practical example. The equation of a curve is, and okay, I see it's implicit differentiation, and it's the equation of the curve. So find the gradient of the curve at the point 1 and 2. Okay, so first we're going to differentiate, just like the previous videos. So just remember, we're going to use the product rule there. So we differentiate the first one, and then we start, we rewrite the first part, which is 6x, and differentiate the second part. And then rewrite the second part and differentiate the first part. And then we different and every time, if, as soon as we differentiate to y, we write dy over dx. All right, to make it always read. Okay. Then we differentiate to y again, dy over x, and then we differentiate 21. Okay. And now we start, so it's going to be 3x squared plus 6, okay, the 1, and then differentiate this one, differentiate that one, 3y squared equals 0. Okay. And then take all this ones to one side okay and then take out dy over dx and then divide and then i'm sitting with my differentiated equation derivative equation okay derivative function and now in this case now we're going to substitute not just only the x but the x and the y value basically so we substitute the in the place of x we substitute one in the place of y we substitute two and then we get the curve. So that's a little bit of. Now I'm going to give you two, uh, and it's actually just because they so. In this case, we focus on learn, and in this case, we focus on trigonometry. So I'm going to give you number one and two. So stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Let's start. Number one. Find the gradient of the curve, and now it's going to be 3 lin x plus 4 lin y plus 6 xy equals 6. Okay, and now I'm going to differentiate. So if I differentiate, let's the first one, we can write 3 and, and, and then I differentiate to x. I just want to rewrite it, okay. I free, differentiate to x, and it's the ln x. And then it's 4, and I differentiate to y. And as soon as I differentiate to y, I write dy over dx. Okay, and now, remember, this is the product, so we're going to start here. Just get the pen. This is the product. So we rewrite the first one and we differentiate the second one. And remember, if we differentiate to y, we write dy over dx. Okay, we are not finished with that one. Still with the product. Plus, then we write the second one and we differentiate to the first one. Okay, and then we differentiate the next one. Okay, now we're going to start. So it's going to be 3, and if I differentiate ln x, it's going to be 1 over x. This is going to be 4. And it's going to be 1 over y. And don't forget your dy over dx. And this is going to be 6x. And that is going to be just a 1. And don't forget your dy over dx. And this is going to be y. And then if I differentiate that one, it's just going to be 6. And then if I differentiate this one, it's just going to be zero. Okay. 
And now I'm just going to simplify. So this is 3 over x. This is 4 over y. I don't think this step is really necessary. Plus 6x dy over dx. As I said, I think this was unnecessary. I could have already take the terms to the right side. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to take it. There is my, and the rest, I'm going to take to the other side. Now, in this case, I take out dy over dx, and I'm going to get 4 over y plus 6x, and if I take this over negative 3 over x, and the next one, negative 6y. Okay. And then I divide. Now, I can make the denominators the same, and it would have been nice, and I'll show you on the side. But first, I'm just going to do it without doing that. So I'm going to get dy over dx, and then I'm just going to keep it as this. It's a little bit unsimplified, but... In this case, they are asking as long as I come to the gradient. So I divide by that, and I want to show you. And then I will do it on the side. Okay, so then I'm going to say at, I'm going to take another color, at 1, 1, x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 1. So then, dy over dx is equal to negative 3 over 1 minus 6, and then I put a 1, over 4 over 1 plus 6 over 1. And if I simplify this, <coughs> I'm going to get, this is going to be negative 9, and this is going to be 10. And that's going to be my final. And that's going to be my gradient. That was the question. But... If I could have simplified this by making the denominators the same, okay, then it would have been negative 3 minus 6yx over x, <clears throat> and I multiply, what is this reciprocal going to be y? So it's y, it's y. So the reciprocal is then going to be the y, and this is going to be 4 plus 6 x, y, which is going to give me then the y, negative 3 minus 6, y over x, over x, and this is going to be, I can multiply it in, but I just left it now like this, um, 4 plus 6, x, y. And, okay, if I substitute this in, I think I'm going to multiply just in. It's a little bit less, less messy then. 3y minus 6y squared x over 4x plus 6x squared y. And if I then substitute this, and I'm going to keep the y. So I put the 1, and I put the 1. And I put the 1, luckily all is 1, and I put the 1, and I put the 1, and I put the 1. And then it's negative 3 minus, oh, let's just get that pen correct. Negative 3 minus 6, and this is 4 plus 6, and that will also give you negative 9 over 10. So as I said, I don't think in this one, because they don't ask this as a specific state, they just asked you, if you go back to the question, let's go back to the question, and find the gradient of the curve. So they basically just want that negative 9 over 10. So then you can just substitute directly. Okay, that was number 1. Let's do number 2. Let's just make it smaller and make space. Okay. Okay, so number two. 
Now, I gave you this one, and the reason why I gave you one, this one is because it's trigonometry as well as the point. Look at the point. That's also very important, bringing all the trigonometry things in. So find the gradient. It's still the gradient of the curve, and it's going to be x squared sin y plus cos 3y is equal to 4. Okay, and at the point. Now, I'm going to start with this, and first, I'm going to differentiate. So, remember, this is, again, my product. Can you see your product? So, okay, let's start. I rewrite the first one, and I differentiate the second one. Okay, then I rewrite the second one, and I differentiate the first one. Okay. So this is going to be my first one that I do this. Okay, and as soon as I say, um, I forgot there, as soon that I write dy over dx. Remember, dy over dx. Okay, let's just squeeze it in. Just going to make a bit more space. Okay, so there was dy over dx. And then I rewrite the second one and I differentiate to the first one. And then I differentiate to this one. And then I differentiate. to this one, to the 4. Okay, now I'm going to start. So I rewrite this one. What is sin y? This is going to be, as soon as you um, have sin y, you're going to have cos, if you differentiate, cos y. Go to the end of your chapter, to the summary page, and then you see all the differentiation of sin and cos and everything. Okay, but then don't forget your dy over dx. And then you have sin y, and then you differentiate to this one, so it's going to be 2x. Okay. And then also go to your rules. Can you remember what this one is? This one is going to be negative 3 because of that 3, so it's going to be negative 3, and then it's going to go to sin 3y. And that last one is just going to be zero. Okay. Okay, now I'm having this. Now, if you look, can I just underline again? There is your dy over dx. Uh, oh, again, I forgot it here. Sorry. As soon as you dy over dx, so check yourself up at the end. I think when you come to this step where you have to decide and you see you only have one, just, just make sure. If you see somewhere that you differentiate to y, then they must stand dy over dx. Okay, so pick up your mistakes. Okay, then I'm taking dy over dx out as a common factor. So I'm ending up with x squared cos y, okay, um, and this one um, minus 3 sin 3y, and I take this one over is equal to negative 2x sin y. Okay, so let's just make it like this, and it looks like a bit bigger. Okay. Now I'm just going to simplify this by saying dy over dx. Now I'm just going to divide, so it's negative 2x sin y over x squared cos y minus 3 sin 3y. Okay, so I'm ready for the substitution. Now I can say if, uh, what is the point? 2 and a half pi, then x is equal, oh, let's just get the pin correct, 
x is equal to 2 and y is equal to a half pi. Okay, and now I'm going to substitute. Then, then, and I'm going to substitute it in, dy over dx equals, and now negative 2, and in the place of x, I put 2. Now, I say sin, and in the place of y, I put a half pi over. In the place of x, I put a 2. Cos. In the place of y, I put a half pi. And then um, minus 3, sin, 3, and it's a half pi. Okay, let, let's make the line longer. Okay. Now, I'm going to, now, can I just show you, this is a half, so this is 90 actually degrees. And this is going to be 180 to 70. So the best will be, and this is sin and cos. So before I'm going to do the substitution, I'm just going to quickly remind you of the sketches. So the sketches will help me to come to the different values. So, okay, here is, here is one. Okay, and here is my other one. Okay, so let's start with the cos. And you have to know that basic shape. So the cost one is just doing this. Okay, and uh, the sin one, and the cos one is doing this. And basically, if I fill it in, remember that is pi. And sorry, I want to, line was a bit short, so let's just make it a little bit longer. Okay, my sketch is not so good. Okay, um, let's go to red, that's 2 pi. So this is going to be pi over 2. Okay, so this is going to be... In this case, it's 3 over 2, or 1 and a half pi. And this value here, can I just write it? That is going to be 1, and that is going to be negative 1. I'm going to need that. So that is 1, and that's negative 1. And don't forget that if I fill this in red, where is this? This is going to be pi, and this is going to be pi over 2. And this is going to, and there is going to be 2 pi. Okay, let's start to see if, if, what do we need. Okay, so I'm going to get this one to be negative 4. Okay, now sin a half. So there is, okay, I forgot to write the sketches down. This is sin, oh, okay, let's call it x, and this is cos x. Okay, so sin a half, there's sin. So in the place of that, sin a half, I'm just going to put 1. Okay, there's the 4. Now, cos a half. Cos a half. What is cos a half? That's 0. So I put 0. Minus 3. Remember, this is sin 1 and a half. So it's sin 1 and a half there. Okay, my line is not very <laughs> straight, but it's negative 1. And that, that is going to be negative 1. And that is going to be negative 4. This is 0. And over 3. And I'm going to end, so therefore, if I want to, I say, therefore, the gradient at that point, and don't forget, it's at the point 2, and a half by is negative 4 over 3. And that's all.